Good morning guys and welcome back to the channel. This morning you find us at a quite wet tea bay services where we spent the night. Uh, it was pretty good, um, not the cheapest, it's £18 for a motorhome overnight. You do get a £3 voucher to spend in their shop if you want to um, as part of that. But there's like loads of parking, you can see behind me. Um, and around this way as well, there are a few vans here. There's an upper tier just over here, which had a number of vans and motorhomes in it overnight. But it was uh, it was nice and quiet. Um, had quite a good night's sleep for the first night and a night on the road. Um, but yeah, gonna hit the road soon um, and head north. Given the weather, I think I'll leave it there for now and uh, check in with you later. I took a turn at the wheel. I'm not the most confident at driving a motorhome, so it was nice to get a few miles under my belt on a lovely empty road. Not sure my passenger was too convinced though. It didn't take long to reach the Scottish border. Sun goes down, darkness falls, trapped with my thoughts in these four walls, trying to make some sense of it all, but I'm getting low. Then we stocked up on fuel and some supplies. Dying to see what's in your heart Trying not to be what's keeping us apart You see the light while I'm stuck here in the dark And then you said we can't stay like The sun had come out and we had lovely blue skies by the time we took a break off the A9 at the Ralia Cafe. Disappointingly, there's now a charge to use the toilet. Then we pressed on to our final stop of the day. Hey guys, so it's still sunny um, and we're in Scotland now. We are at the Culloden Moor campsite, which is just outside Inverness. Um, made it up here from T-Bay, took our time, um, got here about four o'clock-ish. Um, we've got to our pitch, got set up, um, just going for a walk with Archie at the moment. And um, yeah, seems really good so far um it's a bit of a pit stop for a couple of nights on our journey um so yeah we'll uh speak to you later good morning from findhorn it's about a 40 minute drive from the campsite um so we've just got here and parked up uh, there's a free car park just outside the motorhome stopover area there is a bigger car park um, but that does have a height restriction so we can't get in there um, in the motorhome. It is very wet and windy out there, it feels quite wild um, so we're just sitting here for a couple of minutes just to see if it calms down a little bit before we uh, brave it and head onto the beach. stretches for literally miles and perhaps not surprisingly we were the only ones on it. The pebbles were amazingly rounded and shiny. Here we 
Joey relived old memories by jumping across these sea defences. And Sandy made new memories snuffling in between them. Oh, that was amazing. It's, uh, it is quite um, wild out there. More wind than rain. The rain had stopped, so that, that made it easier. But it's, it's pretty epic out there. It's like a sweeping uh, sandy beach. Uh, the waves were rolling in. Um, the tide was quite high. Um, sorry, I've got a dog going a bit mental um, next to me. But yeah, it was, it was really nice with the dunes and the... Um, defence structures, the concrete things, that was that was pretty epic. Um, it was better than I expected. We came here because um, Kerry has banged on about how he used to come here for holidays and to be fair when I looked on Google and I looked on some YouTube videos I thought what is he raving about but um, yeah within like 30 seconds of getting onto that beach I knew exactly what he was raving about. That was really really good. Apparently, um, if the tide's out, you can walk like a seven mile walk, pretty much just all along the beach around the, the coast, which would be nice to do on a, a better day than today. But even the brief walk that we've done um, was just amazing. It feels quite bleak, but bleak in a good way, um, if that makes any sense at all. We did have a really crazy moment where Archie decided he was gonna throw himself into a bulk uh, a foot of water. Um, I think he shocked himself there. So we didn't walk too long because um, we didn't want to get him to get too cold in this weather. Um, so yeah, we've just uh, come back, um, got the heating on in the wagon, got them into their their drying coats, um, and yeah, I think we'll just brew up now and probably have some lunch. But yeah, it's definitely worth coming here. We used the lovely modern clean public toilets before we headed back. We stopped off en route in Croy to go to the barn where we enjoyed a lovely coffee and of course we couldn't resist something sweet to go with it. They have a small selection of savoury items and there's plenty of vegan options. Everything we had was delicious and I'd definitely go back if I was in the area. Our final stop was to look at this viaduct which is only a few minutes drive from the campsite. It's actually Scotland's longest viaduct but I'd never heard of it before and we only came upon it by chance because we could see it from the road to the campsite. The graffiti was slightly less epic. Back at the campsite, we did that obvious thing to do in Scotland when it's quite cold and raining. We had a barbecue with Kerry's parents. If you like this video, please do give it a like and think about subscribing to see more of our adventures. See you in the next one.